A lot of micronations are monarchies of some sort. They're duchies or principalities or kingdoms or empires, a lot of empires out there. And it's been done. I'm not one of those regal types. I'm kind of a down-to-earth guy. And I wanted to do, do something that would both fit that part of my personality, but that would also uh, be different. The mantle of leadership of my country, it really is quite heavy. The actual running of the country and the face of the country is me. As small as our country is, I'm a very hands-on guy. There's not, there's not a lot of extra folks to do the work for me. I have to do all the work myself. I have to run the, we run the website. I have to answer the emails. I don't have a personal secretary to do that. And it's a lot of work. Uh, it really is. But don't get me wrong. I enjoy every second of it. Uh, because if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. And I do, so I do. Because we are such a small country and we have to be ever vigilant because there is a very large country that completely surrounds us, many years ago I declared martial law. I guess you'd call me a dictator, but I'm definitely a benevolent one. The citizens do not object, generally, to the uh, things that uh, I ask of them and uh, make sure everything runs uh, pretty tight and ship shape in our little dinky country. <laughs> this is our custom station. Every country should have its own custom station to uh, I guess guard the frontiers, and our frontier is guarded by Fred, the customs guy. You can see him sitting there, and one of his responsibilities, besides collecting change in the cup for coming into the country, is to ensure that none of these things are brought into the country uh, by a decree from myself. Among them are fresh spinach, definitely not allowed in the country, nasty stuff. No tobacco products, very bad for you. In incandescent light bulbs, bad for the environment. Catfish, definitely no good, not like we have a problem with it, but certainly banned. Missionaries and salesmen, uh, just because they're annoying. Onions, awful things, anything, and I do mean anything from Texas except for Kelly Clarkson. Uh, walruses are certainly banned and plastic shopping bags are definitely not allowed because they are also horrible for the environment. So I'll briefly and point out that we are on Molossia and Standard Time. Yes, we have our own time zone here in Molossia. That's 39 minutes ahead of Pacific Time or uh, 21 minutes behind Mountain Time, whichever you prefer. What we have here is the Molossian Trading Company. This is our trading post. We do sell uh, a number of different things. Uh, it sort of helps support our uh, very, very, very tiny economy. And uh, so what we decided to do was have a uh, trading post. When folks come visit Molossia, they can buy things, bumper stickers and some our coins and buttons and so forth like that. And uh, trading post is very ably manned by the uh, ever smiling Trader Tom, who you see reposing right there in yonder lawn chair. I'd like to welcome you to Norton Park. Uh, Norton Park is basically the uh, garden spot of the Republic of Malaysia. As you can see, looking around, there's not a lot of trees and so forth in our uh, desert country. In the middle of Norton Park, you see the Malaysia Railroad. Before there was even a park, before there were trees or anything, there was the Malaysia Railroad, and uh, now it's definitely the centerpiece of our park. The railroad's about 10 years old, and it's actually what's called a large-scale or G-scale railroad. If you ever get into this sort of thing, it's an extremely expensive hobby, which is why we haven't much, done much more with it than what we've got going on right here. Of course, it's always a dream that we have to uh, actually have a railroad that we can ride on. And here we have the monument to the Molossia Navy. Uh, we're very proud of our Navy, even though it's really small. We have three, three vessels, three boats, I guess you'd call them, uh, a larger raft that we call the uh, MS Wombat, and then the two smaller uh, are actually uh, inflatable kayaks and that's the uh, Bandicoot and the Platypus. And uh, even though it seems kind of incongruous to have a Navy out here in the desert, because you don't really see any water, uh, over the border in the United States there are several lakes. This is the Space Monument. Uh, of course, the Molossian Space Program is kind of legendary. We've done some really, really wonderful things with the small rockets that we've had. Started out with just simple rockets, and then we worked our way up to a, a rocket that uh, has a camera on it, a video camera on it. So we were finally uh, victoriously able to uh, get an aerial view of Molossia. One, two, two three. three. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shoot. Calm it down quick. Yeah, it is. Come on, Kevin. Wait, what? No, help Carson with the gold one. Okay. Ha, 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 ha.
Moasia is, I think, is the greatest small country on earth. We have that, uh, that special spark, that imagination. In both the, the literal and figurative sense, we are very much a family. And, uh, you know, we do everything together as, as a nation. Gotta watch my figure. Because I'm a dictator, I deliberately chose uh, my uniform to have a certain look. I mean, initially I was like, oh, I don't know about wearing this thing outside the house. Uh, but when the Lonely Planet Guide to Micronations came out, um, I agreed to go and do book signings. I sat there in the doorway of the Borders bookstore, and I've got my son Carson as a bodyguard behind me, the flag, I got a sign, and I'm wearing my, my cool uniform. How's it going? People are walking by me like I'm a stack of books. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. I'm like, okay, this looks a little bit odd to me, and I'm the guy doing it. Doesn't this look strange to you? Malasia, M-O-L-O-S-S-I-A. It's actually inside the United States. <laughs> You're in Malasia. Malasia. Yes, oh, indeed. Great. Yes, indeed. Great. Good to meet you. Greetings. From, uh, from, from North Dakota? Or? What we do by having our own country, it, by most standards, is a little bit eccentric. And I'm okay with that because I'm really okay with being eccentric. That's, that's quite all right by me. The Republic of Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Uh huh. Yes. Close enough. Yes, indeed. No, not Malaysia. Malaysia. Yes, indeed. Malaysia, huh? Yes, indeed. What is the uniform for? I am the president of the Republic of Malaysia. Okay. Visiting the White House with your president. Okay. My house is a little bit smaller. Cool. I count the days the great frontier for giving face the seven year. I stand in awe of great. Be quiet. I I thought you were Canadian. <laughs> oh, so be quiet, eh? Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Hello, this is President Kevin Ball of the Republic of Malaysia, and you're watching Micronation Television.